Hey, it's Mr. J. Maul, like the ball, and I'm back with another Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. So let's get it started in the day. I actually plan on trying to rush through a lot of stuff, so yeah, man. I'm going to try to get a lot more done than I usually do, and let me start off by spraying a repel to make sure I don't run into a bunch of annoying Pokemon. And there's a problem because I do not have any repels, which means I'm actually going to go get some, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and... I bought some repels, which is funny because I could have remember, you know, I could have, I could remember like me buying repels last time, and that's kind of crazy because I don't know what the hell happened to them, but my repels happened to be gone, but it's okay because I went and bought a bunch of new ones. So I'm gonna talk to this guy, and he's not really telling me anything I want to hear. And here's an item that you know I kind of actually just looked up that you can get. As I said before, I did my research. Hold on, where the hell does this leave me? Ah, oh, yes, right. There's a Pokeball somewhere over here. I don't know if that lady battles me, but I actually don't care at this point. Matter of fact, she doesn't. I think she just talked to me about something. I don't know. Let's see what she has to say. And she has nothing to say. You know, nothing that we don't already know that is. So, back at it, and I actually just realized I forgot to start my timer. Oh, man, I'm fucking up today. But everything is okay because I started the timer, and if I have to, I'll fix everything later. Oh, dang. I forgot that it repel, you know, it lingered off or whatever. But it's okay, so I'm going to run for this Poochiana because Poochiana sucks, and I don't plan on using one on my team. Let's go ahead and spray this repel right quick. Got the repel off. Still got 13 minutes, or probably like. I don't know, I think the video can be like a little bit over 15 minutes, so I'm not really worried about it. So, this guy is going to stop me, and I believe a grunt has stole something, or I don't know. Yeah, there's a grunt. Hmm. So yeah, the grunt's going to challenge me, I'm not really scared of him because, I mean, my team is a beast. I got Snakehead and Athena. I can't lose. Now, what I keep forgetting to do is put Snakehead at the beginning. I mean, uh, Athena at the beginning, so, you know, he or she can get some experience. I don't even know if it's he or she. I didn't even check yet, so I don't even know at this point. Hmm. So, you see, Poochian has been taken out, and that was, you know, relatively easy. Wow, one Poochiana? That's it? I don't understand the grunts sometimes, you know? They're really not much of good henchmen, you know? And as a reward, I got a Great Ball, which at this point in the game are actually really useful. You know, the ch like, I don't know, like, at this point, like, you can throw a Great Ball, like a level, you know, 10 Pokemon, and most likely catch it on your first go so you know that's that's actually pretty cool at this point but before i go i'm actually going to hill up snakehead and i'm going to put athena in front go ahead and make sure i do that and the moment athena learns a good attack then i can stop putting athena in front and actually have athena fight and defend itself and i actually didn't even check if athena was a female yet ah it would be really cool if, like, you know, Athena was you know, I don't know. I tell you, man, I actually could not think of, like, a nickname. So, I probably said this in the other video, but yeah, I had to go online and look up nicknames, and Athena actually happened to be one of them. Well, it was better than all the other ones, out for sure. And this Ninkata is really not a threat at all. So, you know, I'm going to take it down with one or two water guns. It would be nice if I, oh man, one. Actually, I think Ninkata is a, is either a ground type or a rock type. I'm not really sure at this point. You know, I really need to get better at my, you know, Pokemon stats and things of that nature. And I should have switched to Athena, but me being an idiot, I wasn't thinking. But it's okay though. Now, I believe Weak Seed is a bug type move. And I would have switched to Athena, and, but... Bug tank moves are super effective. But at least she, yeah, at least she is definitely a bug tank. I could be wrong. Man. You know what? 
Michi could actually be a grass type anymore. I don't even know. It sucks that I'm so terrible at Pokemon. I love playing the game now. Now, at this point, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. And, you know, the fact that, like, the repel, you know, ran off. I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention to it. But it's okay. Because I've gotten out. As you can see, I can't go through here yet because I haven't got the HM cut. But the moment I do, consider it done. See, I finally got out of force. It's actually not, you know, as bad as a lot of forces I've seen as far as this game. So I'm going to talk to this guy. And he's going to give me TM09, which I actually have no idea what it is at this point. But I'm going to pick these berries and then check what TM09 is. I'm back, and I just planted some berries, which means that I am saving the environment. And everyone else should try to save the environment, too. So if you play this game, I encourage you to plant some berries. Yeah, she asked me what I want to learn about berries, and at this point, I actually, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say yeah, because I might actually get a berry out of this, I believe. I don't know, but I'm going to speed spam the A button, and I get nothing out of this, which means I just waste my time. Which is okay, doesn't really matter. Let's talk to this lady, see what she has to say, and she gives me a worm repel, which actually means that now I get the water to berries that I plant. Which, you know, actually sucks because now it takes more time. But it's okay because I cut all that stuff out anyway. I'm just going to assume that that lady doesn't give me anything and keep it moving because I only have 8 minutes left. I'm going to check up here, but um, actually, I don't want to waste a repel. And look at that. I encourage you to, if you see a patch of grass, like to actually just try to talk to it. Which sounds weird, but yeah, just go ahead and talk to the patch of grass because... Um, you know, best case scenario, you find something like a Pokeball, you know, something that you can use, so it works out for me, it should work out for you, and I ain't going to run. Matter of fact, man, you know, I'm just going to say fuck it and, you know, do this repel. I should have just did it in the first way, because I would have been out of here. And I actually just got a glimpse of what the HM was, it was Bullet Seed, which actually happened to be a pretty good TM. Ah, I said HM. Ah, fuck. So I'm going to talk to that patch of grass, I'm going to talk to that patch of grass, and this patch of grass gave me a super potion. Yay. And I'm going to talk to that patch of grass, but that patch of grass has nothing to say. And now I'm kind of, oh, okay then, I understand now. Alright, now, well, nah, I don't understand. They're the same level, so this Pokemon shouldn't have shown up. Oh, and I can't escape. Now that has to be like one of the most nerve-wracking things in Pokemon, period. When your Pokemon can't escape. That absolutely pisses me off beyond belief, I'll tell you. Ah, I can't stand that shit. And like, it actually makes me so mad where sometimes where I decide I'm not gonna battle a wild Pokemon. If it, like, you know, if my Pokemon can't escape and it ends up killing my Pokemon, I actually go all out, direct that Pokemon. All out, man. I abuse the hell out of it, just cause I'm mad. Like, if they had a law against, like, you know, Pokemon cruelty, I would have been locked up plenty of times because these Pokemon pissed me off. It's like, you stop me in the middle of the grass. Like, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to walk to go where I want to go, you know. I don't want to fight you. I'm trying to run away, and you're chasing me down. Like, are you that serious? Oh, and this big Zygoon is just faster than my Pokemon. I actually, I'm starting to get mad. And I'm actually going to get an item that I think is going to fix my, you know, slow Pokemon, you know, issue or whatever. I'm going to get that item in a few. So I'll battle this guy. I'm going to keep it moving. And wow! That was some amazing distance. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't, I mean, like, wow! I think this character has hope because that was fucking amazing. I can't believe it was able to... I, man, I'm, like, speechless right now. I mean, I'm not speechless, but... I can't find the words to describe how bullshit that was. I was, the distance was just too far for this trainer to have, you know, came up on me, I don't know. But what I am gonna do is, I'm going to water gun the shit out of this little bag. Wow, never mind. I will be tackling the shit out of this little bag. And what sucks is, I'm gonna have to hit tackle, but it keeps lowering my freaking attack. Which means it's not gonna do that much damage. Astonishes, but that is shit. Ah, oh, man, it's still doing like a lot of damage for like you know it has to for it to have got off two growls. 
which means that like I would have probably KO'd it if I didn't like you know use tackle in the first place. But I'm such a bad Pokemon trainer, I didn't know that. And Athena learns confusion, which means that Athena is actually not gonna be, you know, getting carried all the time. And it's gonna throw out a Shumish. No. I'm actually afraid of Shumishes. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm absolutely terrified of them. <laughs> like I think it was what two videos ago, like a shroomish just, you know, went absolutely ham on my Pokemon and I'm scared of them now. But if all things go to plan, I should be able to take down the shroomish with Athena, which I actually now that I think about it, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do. Or I probably can't, I don't know. I'm actually going to try my I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to take him out. And if you tackle, I should be good. And I got potions. So yeah, I'm kicking it right. As long as you don't get a critical hit, I should be okay. And you're gonna get all the experience. Oh, come on, lift. There we go. It actually seems that this um this shroomish is faster than my ropes, and I actually didn't even notice that. I'm so oblivious to things. Like, I think it's because I'm trying to commentate and actually play at the same time that I'm not aware of, like, you know, things that I would usually be aware of. Or I was just, you know, playing on my own free time, I guess. But with four minutes left and Athena getting all the experience in that battle, I'm feeling great. I'm really proud of Athena holding its own weight. Ah, these girls are going to mess with me. I knew it! Mm. I can't stand double battles and rotation battles piss me off even more. Even though rotation battles aren't in this game, I thought I'd just mention them anyway. Okay, now at this point. At this point. Ah! Damn it, I don't like where this is going. Fuck. You know what? I should be able to KO this low tag my first try. If everything goes according to plan. And I do. And I got a critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, this game is no longer bullshit to me, and I'm loving it. And then it goes up to level 7, which means a lot of things are going the way I plan. Now, I think C dot is just wow, so we really have to take this thing out immediately. So I'm going to water gun it. Which was actually a really dumb move now that I think about it. But a snake head is just that powerful that it took me out with that water gun. Man, I'm such a... You know, I'm actually going to have to... I don't know what the hell I gotta do. I, you know, I'm just gonna keep playing, and I'm just gonna pray that eventually I get better at this shit. I guess that's the best way to put it. So I'm actually gonna check up here. I know I gotta go battle that guy, but I wanna go get this item. You know, X defense. Now, I'm not really, like, you know, the type of guy that uses, like, battle items like that, but, you know, I think they're actually really good. I don't use them, but now that I think about them, they are worth being used. So, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Say for instance, uh, you know what, I'll be right back and I'm going to explain it after I'm done picking these berries. Okay, I'm back. And like I was saying before I was interrupted by my berry picking process, battle items are actually really good to use for the simple fact. If you don't have a Pokemon that has, you know, a stat boosting move, like, you know, like Calm Mind or Bulk Up, you know, that's a great way to boost up, you know, your Pokemon stats during the battle. Because a lot of you not, the best thing to have is a stat boosting Pokemon. I can't even tell you how many times, like, uh, when I was playing Heart Gold, I used the Spirit Tomb. And, um, yeah, I just would, I would, like, calm mine the entire time in the battle. And the reason why I worked out so well is because Spirit Tomb doesn't have a super effective. So I really didn't have any worries as far as the super effective. All I needed to do was just pray that whatever Pokemon I was fighting didn't get a critical hit. So the moment I realized I was able to survive a certain attack, you know what I mean, I was able to just keep calm mining, you know what I mean, and then once I got his calm mines maxed out, or you know, special attack and special defense maxed out, he just became a sweeper, and that is a good thing to have, so, you know, hopefully one of my Pokemon will be able to become a sweeper. I haven't even did the research on them yet. I know which ones I want. I just haven't researched what moves I'm gonna have on them, or what moves I can, you know, pro possibly teach them, you know, around the time of the game in the four. But I am actually running out of time, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and take out this magic card. Well, my time is up. It's all good, bro. So I'm gonna hurry up and um, in this battle. And with this battle being done, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm going to go. 
But before I go, I actually want to sit like right near the entrance. That way, the next video starts. Ah, fuck, I didn't want to do that. Alright, when the next video starts, I'm going straight to Rustboro 